Matthew says, with modern SharePoint Online, I have a hub site and associated sites. I upload an image to an associated child site, create a page news item on the associated child site, but then can't seem to get at that content on the parent hub site. My question is, within a site collection, is it possible to use content from one site that has been uploaded to another? I know using subsites I can share content, but I can't seem to do it with the hub sites and associated sites, which I think are referred to as site collections. So I can only assume I am doing something wrong. It's the uh, filtering in the audience on their web part. When you add a news web part to a page, you can just decide the scope and you can also apply filters on either attributes of the page, but across sites, if, if the scope is beyond that site, you can't use like page properties as a, a value that you can filter by. If it's within the same site and the news, you can use the page properties as a filter, but it's, it's how they're filtering in the scope of their content that's coming up on their page. So in the news web part, in the web part setting. Yeah, hub sites are good for navigation. They're good for search scopes, but as far as content sharing at a broader level, uh, you're still going to be bound by um, site or site collection level permissions. Um, you're not going to get the helpful little uh, accelerators that pop up to allow you picking across sites typically. Um, if you have all the permissions that everything's set up and you have the URL of the item you want to use, you can use it across. But again, there is an implication that if you're doing that, you need to make sure that your audience, whoever's going to see this stuff, has access to data in both places. So it's generally not a good idea. Yeah, I've tried to use the managed metadata as a property so you could go across site collections and use those as filters. But yeah, that's a it's a whole other thing. That's not like it used to be where you had the content you know, the content hub, and it would give you all that you would, uh, it would inherit and it would update. And yeah, it doesn't work like that. That management metadata, the way they have it um, configured now, I don't think is very user friendly personally, but. Yeah, so the only comment I would add to all of that is um, if you are trying to get to a place where you want to be able to access content from across multiple sites, um, there is this thing called an organizational asset library, and I put the link in um, to share that for how to set it up. Um, but essentially, it's a, a, it's really like, I mean, like this much PowerShell. You copy and paste it. It's super easy. Um, and you can basically define one library um, in the site app, in your site um, to be that library so like when you're going to create your news and add images it defaults to that one place across the entire tenant um, which is really handy so that you're not like where do we put that which site do we put it on um, they can just pull it from one place and then as long as to, to your point as long as your target audience as long as you're scoping as long as your permissions are set up correctly um, you should be good to go but um, I have really found this to be really, really nice. And I've got one set up for templates, one set up for or, uh, for um, images like site assets and things like that, that you can pull into different things that then they can access it from across the entire tenant. That's awesome, because okay. honestly, right now I'm I'm going through 68 sites and rounding up all the little icons that they used on their buttons yep. because we're <laughs> migrating and now we have to recreate all those. And I got to figure out where did they stick all these little images in 68 different sites so that we yep. can recreate them? Yeah, and some of them are the same ones in different in different places. So, so having a central point, icon library would have been awesome. So to that point, um, when you're architecting, if you define one site collection essentially to host all of your images and assets for the entire tenant, um, as long as everybody has read access to that site collection and that content, um, you can actually use this and then people can share and use those assets. And essentially, you know that no matter kind of where it is, at least they have access to the asset itself. OK, and you put the link in the. I did. I, yeah, I'm, and you have the choice. I'm of so either, doing that. <laughs> you can either create an image. You can create an image library that's specific for images or a template library that's specific. And hey, fun fact, new feature um, is if you create an organizational asset library that for templates, when you go into like PowerPoint or Word or whatever, it automatically shows up in the application under your um, tenant name. So it's like an assets, like maybe call it um, the tenant slash assets might be the, I don't know, org assets maybe? 
would be the URL. You get me thinking. Yep. Yep. No. And I've, I've shared for I've the got, win today. <laughs> I've got several, I've got several clients with this and we use it and it's a, it's a really, really neat little thing that I, it's one of those, you, you know, a lot of people just don't know it's there. Um, but it makes a big difference when you're trying to manage things like images and templates across a tenant because you can't do the cross-site sharing. Okay. I get it. <laughs>